I really love handmade things. It really gives them this feeling of like uniqueness and specialness and like they're one of a kind. So a few months ago I created these three tiny sketchbooks. Uh, the entire video of how I made them is on my channel so you can check it out. And <laughs> it's finally time to start filling them out. So they are nine spreads each. The first one I've already started working with some landscapes and I think I will just continue that. These are two to be still finished and then I can like go and finish it off with the landscapes. I had some other ideas for the next two, but let's just focus on the first one and see how it goes. <laughs> What happened to her today? <laughs> if you want to be in the video, you have to pose nicely to the camera. <laughs> okay, so I finished all of the ones that were already started. And I'm thinking that for the rest ones, there's still like six to go or five. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna paint them with watercolors. Looks really loves me today. <laughs> and I think that for the reference photo, I will just try and drop some random pins around on Google Maps and just try something new. Because every time I just paint from these pretty uh, Pinterest photos, which uh, I'm trying to like, obviously not copy because I'm not doing anything realistic, but I don't know, I just feel like just putting these pins on the real life more or less planet is more creative and more challenging. And Lux is gonna help me with that. Okay, so I'm gonna use uh, Holbein watercolors. This cat is driving me crazy today. They are so tiny and I'm a little bit afraid of using them. <laughs> Okay, so I found this place. It's somewhere uh, in the north of Spain. It doesn't look that great here, but I don't know. I'm just gonna try and do something with it. Okay, so unfortunately the tape doesn't work that great with the dryer, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. 
I think I will maybe move to the next ones to finish painting because I have all of this paint right here and don't want it to like get dry and then maybe I will just finish off everything with pencils at the end. Yeah, I think that might work. I like that something simple for once. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try and paint it without a sketch, just like straight to the paper. <laughs> doing a house again because these landscapes are extremely <laughs> simple and fast and I would like a little bit of a challenge but I can't find anything inspiring oh no this is too modern Oh, there is a church that way, so maybe... Okay, I'm gonna try and paint a church. <laughs> like Scotland has nothing better to offer. <laughs> but it's pretty. Really old with the uh, bell tower, so it can be nice. So what inspires me to do these kind of things is um, one of the Katie Moody videos. She made an entire uh, video about uh, drawing things from Google Street View basically. Uh, before I was like always looking for a perfect spot and trying to find these like Pinterest <laughs> places, uh, the, the perfect, uh, almost like a reference photo, uh, because she was saying on Instagram that she's using Google Maps for, for her drawings and uh, paintings. Uh, her, her sketchbooks looks fantastic. Uh, she's actually the one that inspires me a lot to do a daily challenge and stuff like this so I would uh, really recommend checking up her uh, uh, channel and Instagram account uh, but yeah I always felt like I have to find this perfect spot to paint and she just shows in the video that this is not the case at all that you can find something like this which is i mean the church is pretty and it probably looks uh, really nice uh, in the real life but the google street view is not and yeah i just use it as an inspiration and try to make something nice out of it i guess that's that's more of the point than just trying to find this like perfect reference so it really opened my eyes and i had a lot of struggle actually doing it because it turned out it's not that easy than just finding a really good reference and <laughs> redrawing it but 
it's a lot more creative that way and it really helps to boost this creativity and to just trust the process and and paint and also use some imagination and yeah <laughs> it's it actually is quite challenging for me right now but i guess when i do more of it it would get easier and i will be more happy with the results okay so basically i changed a lot like the perspective and uh, composition and like the church itself but i'm quite happy with a sketch so let's try and paint it Okay, I finished painting. The last two I did was uh, one from uh, Norway and the other one from Switzerland. Now I just need to change all these colored stains, paint stains into something pretty, I guess. <laughs> Roxy is helping me. <laughs> so I finished the second one. I really like the style. It's a little bit messy and sketchy and it actually worked quite nice with the watercolor. So far more to go, but I'm not sure if I can do anything with this little beast here. <laughs> do you always have to come when I'm working?
I've almost done. There's only like two left, but I've noticed one thing. In this Nerdforge sketchbook, and I don't know if this is the problem with the sketchbook or I don't know. I had to like put every each page the tissue paper because otherwise the new colors were just transferring to the other side, like here. And I actually totally forgot about it and we're just like painting and going on and on and this is not happening here. The pages are as like tidy as they were, no smudging, no transferring. Hmm, I don't know. At first, when I was making these sketchbooks, I used a paper that I didn't like that much. When I was painting on it, it left like some tiny pieces of paper and everything was like bleeding and all. But now when this is in this sketchbook, I don't know, maybe it's the style of the drawings that is very loose and sketchy, but I actually like the paper. And I like that the pastels are not smudging or... This is great. <laughs> So I guess it's time for a quick tour. Okay, so I started filling out this sketchbook a while ago when my style still was a little bit different, especially the color palette. Now I use more pinks and uh, purples and not so much orange like you. Uh, here is the second one. I quite like this forest. And here it was the page when I put all the watercolors uh, a few months ago and finished everything up now. So it looks more like the stuff I'm doing uh, now. But the colors in this one are still not my favorite. So yeah. Here we are all the pages that I did over the last few days. And yeah, it turned out to be a really great exercise. In this one, I actually added some bushes in the foreground because it looked quite too simple and sad and basic. It's still not my favorite, but at least it has a little bit more interest to it. And then there's this Portugal cliff. I really love the colors, how it all turned out. Went from yellow into this, some kind of an orange into pink. I kind of really get comfortable with the colors recently. And yeah, this Scotland church turned out to be my absolute favorite of all of the ones that I painted here. And... The Norway one was a challenge because I don't use this uh, bright red in my uh, paintings. Uh, it was actually a watercolor color, which I took straight from a tube. And it turned out maybe a little too bright, but again, I like the combination of red and green, so it's nice. And the Switzerland with the mountains and this cute house. And that's it. The sketchbook is really small. <laughs> but I had a lot of time actually painting all of this. Uh, the exercise with drawing from Google Maps uh, turned out to be a huge boost for my creativity. And I've already had tons of ideas for what to do next. Maybe like a series of paintings, each one from a different country. Um, yeah, <laughs> but that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one was your favorite. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.